Okay, so finally it is time to go and get my chaotic crossbow. Everybody's wrong. Rewrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. What's your mind wrapped in? Wrapped around. Wrapped, wrapped around. Okay, so we have finished our Tormented Demons task, nothing great from that, but we also just mined 150 Stardust and also got 99 mining, which is really good. So let's get a new task from Simona, let's see what we can get. 2 KBDs, that's an easy task, that's awesome. Okay, so we finished up the King Black Dragon task, this is all the loot we got, now let's get a new task from Simona. 6 Dagonoth Primes, nice and easy. Okay, another Slayer task down, still no Dragon Axe from Dagonoth Kings. And 8 Tormented Demons, which sucks. I really don't like Tormented Demons, so I'm definitely going to skip this task. Considering it only costs 5 Slay Points, it's a pretty easy bargain. So let's get a new task from Simona. 6 Supremes. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize it, but we just hit 500 million experience in strength finally we can now go get that 200 mil strength xp cape which does look really nice so once i have finished this task i will go get the cape and get a new task okay so we have finished our task now i really don't know where the wise old man is i'm presume he would be the one who would sell me the capes here he is uh m skill capes m would that be yep master capes here we go so strength master cape 500k let's buy it Put it on, look at that. I don't know which one's better, the fire cape or the strength master cape. Let me take off all my items and I will have a look. Okay, so here are the similarities. So, I don't know, I'd probably rather the fire cape, but the strength cape looks a little better. The strength cape has four plus prayer bonus, zero strength bonus, 13 in all defensive and zero in all attack. Whereas the fire cape has one in all attack, but only 11 in all defensive. But four strength and two prayer so it's a tough decision but if we have a look with all of our stuff on that's the strength cape and that's the fire cape i think i'll just go with the top cow so I'll, I'll stick with the fire cape actually no i'll stick with this one for now and then once i get that 50k toggle i'll upgrade my fire cape but now let's get a new task so i want to do some achievements this episode i also need to do fishing because i've run out of food completely except for these rock tails two dagonoth rexes uh, yeah, I'm gonna go fishing first and then I'll do the wrecks. These rock tails are also mine. I dropped them So I have a couple of rock tails in the bank, which I got from those caskets But besides that I don't have any food as you can see zero sharks and zero raw sharks So I'm gonna go cook some sharks and I will be back So last time I bought a bunch of those rock tail baits and it didn't actually work It turns out I needed those red vines worms or something so I didn't have any in the bank and I thought there was some drop from my boss, but it turns out I can actually come over here and buy them. So now I can actually fish rock tails, which is really good. So I'm going to buy about a thousand. Actually, I don't know how much they're worth. How much are they? 14k each. Um, if I bought a thousand, that would be 14 mil. So I'm going to buy a hundred. Yeah, I'm going to buy an extra hundred as well. So I'm going to buy a two. Ooh, I'm going to buy 210 of them. And that should last me on rock tails, and then I should fish some sharks as well, around 200 sharks as well, and I should be set on food. Okay, for some reason, fishing rock tails is bugged right now for everybody, so I'm going to have to catch sharks until they fix it. Okay, there we go, we've just hit 99 fishing, currently rock tails are still broken, but now I'm going to cook all the sharks we have in our banks, I think we have enough for now. There we go, we have finished all of our sharks, we now have 361 cooked sharks ready for bossing. But first, I'm going to use all these bones on an altar. There we go, 90 prayer, only 2 more levels for soul split and 5 more for turmoil. Oh no, we just got a ring of life from Rex. I think that is as rare as a dragon hatchet. Okay, finished up the Dagonoth Rex task. Let's get a new task from Simona and 6 Chaos Ellies. Holy shit guys, I just got a pet Chaos Ellie. I don't know how rare that is, but I did get it on my second kill. Look at it, that's so good. I don't know if I have to insure it on this server or not, but I really need to get out of the wildy as quick as I can. Okay, now that I got the pet from the Chaos Ellie, I really don't like killing Chaos Ellie, so I'm going to skip the task really quickly. Okay, let's see what we can get from Simona. 8 Bandos, that's amazing. Oh no, I just died at Bandos and my pet Chaos Ellie is sitting on the ground so I, I forgot that I had to insure it. I don't know if you have to but it's just sitting there so hopefully I can get the 20 kill count in time. Damn it, it despawned. We've lost our pet Chaos Ellie. I really don't know why I'm laughing but I don't know. I don't really care about pets but oh, that just sucks. I just wasn't thinking at the time. 
Okay, so finally it is time to go and get my chaotic crossbow. Alright, so I've been duoing dungeoning with Zoli here. He actually makes RSPS videos, so Zoli RSPS if you do want to check him out. And he's about to get max with 99 dungeoning after this level. Alright, there we go. I think he did just get 99 dungeoning. Congrats to him. He is now maxed. And I still have around 80k tokens to go until I can get the chaotic crossbow. Damn, grats to Zoli. He just got max cape. Look at it. Looks so awesome. I can't wait till I can get maxed on this server. Okay, so this took kind of a long time. So now we're going to go get the chaotic crossbow finally. So good to finally get the chaotic crossbow. 200k tokens. Bought the chaotic crossbow, but sadly I am only 77 range. So I'm going to have to go and get 80 range. So I'll be back. Okay, so there we go. 80 range with the knives. Let's equip the crossbow. Look at that. That's so awesome. Finally got a chaotic crossbow. So I'm just going to go back to DKs now, I guess. So here we go, we got a second drop from Supreme, I think it is. The Circle, which really sucks because I really want the Dragon Hatchet so bad. And we have almost all the rings except for the Archers and Berserker Ring. Okay, so now after bossing for so long, we do have enough boss points to buy an Amulet of Fury. Now I don't want to spend ages at Jad just trying to get an Onyx so I can make a Fury. I could just buy it here and then I could spend the Tockle I get from Jad on a Kion Cape instead. So guys, I just found out about this Donator Store, which is insane look at it it has a really nice looking dragon defender it has infinity it has a torso which I spent like five hours going for instead I could have just bought it it has overloads it has everything here but for now I think I'm gonna limit myself I'm not gonna be able to buy any potions from there I think any pouches I'm not gonna be able to make but if I can't get infinity any other way I'm just going to get it from here also I'm gonna buy myself like three overloads in this clip this is pre-recorded but after I buy these overloads I'm not gonna buy any more okay we just got a Farsi helm. Okay, so let's just log on to my Iron Man for now, and I'm just gonna show you something really, really annoying. It just annoys me so much. So I logged on a second ago, and I had all my weapons equipped, all my armor equipped. I was at DKs, but I didn't have my chaotic rapier on. I had everything equipped but the rapier, I had my fury, everything. So let's just search for the chaotic rapier right now, and as you see, all that comes up is the chaotic crossbow and the chaotic staff. So this is so annoying. I'm gonna have to go and grind for a chaotic rapier next episode because I'm just, I'm not feeling it this episode. And I also found out I can just use an Inferno adds at 80 wood cutting for my wood cutting, which is annoying because I do have 80 wood cutting now. And also I did have 100 Dagonoth bones in the bank, which I am gonna use on the altar. And there we go, I unlock soul split. And I finished off with some baby dragon bones to get all the way to 94 prayer. Only one more level to go until turmoil. Okay, so before we end off the episode, I just want to show you this new account I made. It is my main, and it's for staking, PKing, dicing, trading, all the stuff I can't do on my Iron Man. And I maxed it out, max combat in around an hour, which is really good. I transferred some cannonballs over from my Iron Man because honestly the cannon's not coming to the Iron Man anytime soon it looks like. And these are just some stakes here, some little stakes, 3 mils, 5 mils and I lost both of them. I think altogether it was around 10 mil I staked and I lost. Now I'm not going to put any staking clips in my Iron Man episodes, don't worry. I might make a separate kind of series for staking and PKing. But for now, don't worry, I'm not going to use this account. It's going to be put to the side until this server comes a little more popular. And I'm just going to use my Iron Man for now, which will be my main focus. And as you can see in this clip, you're probably not going to like it. But I am transferring some stuff over from my Iron Man to my trading account. So as you can see, what I transferred over is really nothing that I'm going to use on my Iron Man. 99 Rune Full Helms, 11 D Meds, 2 Granite Moors, and 3k Cosmic Runes. It's honestly, it's nothing. I'm not going to use it at all. I don't need money on an Iron Man since you can't trade. And honestly, I'm not going to use Rune Full Helms or Granite Moors. I also have 3 Granite Moors left in my bank just in case I do use them. But it came out to 5.7 mil, which is really nice. So thank you guys so much for watching episode 3 of the Icovs series and hopefully I will see you in the next one.